this winter uh, it snowed just long enough to squish my Easy Up shelter. So there's what's left of it. Uh, I had to pull it off of the motorcycle and then dismantle it. But uh, fortunately, didn't damage the motorcycle at all. It's perfectly fine. Um, unfortunately, over the course of the winter, my front brake has seized. So now I'm back to where I started with the front brake as it's seized. At least it has brake fluid in it. But yeah, it, it's, uh, it's stuck. So I'm pretty sure it's the master cylinder stuff. I am thinking about getting an aftermarket replacement. I really didn't want to do that. Uh, for one thing, it costs money. And for another thing, I wanted the, you know, the original part, but the repair of the original part, uh, well, it's not holding up, and, um, and even though I cleaned it out real good and bought a new kit for it, and it was working great last year, it seized up now, so uh, I think I'll be on the lookout for one of these. But uh, apart from that, I still have the clutch bolts to torque up and the cover to permanently install and, and uh, fill it with oil and put the side bits back on. And I bought one of those uh, battery eliminator things because, yeah, this battery, uh, it will not hold fluid in two of its cells. It doesn't appear to be leaking, so I don't know where the fluid is going, but it's going somewhere because, yeah, the, the furthest most cell keeps getting empty, and um, if it would stay full, it seems to hold a charge okay, but it won't stay full. So, Turns out the battery eliminator is about the same price as a new battery, but you don't have to mess with battery acid, and it's way lighter, and it's maintenance-free. You should never have to change it. Is it working? Yeah, okay. Hey folks, I'm on my cell phone today. We'll see how that turns out. But uh, here's a really late, uh, a long overdue update on the SR500. The uh, clutch is finally reassembled and back on. Everything's torqued. Clever's back on. The levers in the foot peg are back on. Um, uh, it's got oil in it finally. I, I gave it a few kicks, um, hoping to prime that uh, little uh, fuel filter area. It didn't seem to do anything. I don't know what that means. Maybe it just needs more uh, kicking. I did try to, I mean, I, I did turn things on and try to start it, but I, I, you know, it's been a year. I don't have any hope, really. Um, but you never know. Well, now I know it didn't start. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I haven't even tried to start it in over a year, so. But considering it's been out in the wet and the sun for a whole year, it's not looking too bad. Uh, we're in the rainy season again, so, yep, it's raining again. Um, I've had some thoughts on the gas tank and why it looks so terrible. Uh, I may or may not go back and try and fix that someday. Um... But uh, I'm going to wait for better weather, which is next year sometime. But I thought uh, a nice uh, little short update would be in order since it's been a long time since I've done anything with this guy. So here we are. A short update and a little tiny bit of progress. But progress nonetheless. Okay. Well, so I uh, 
It's short and sweet, but I still hope you found it interesting, and thank you very much for watching.